presenters. Uh, in this small video, I'm going to show you how to create illuminate a lamp using the ambient light and also how to create a V-ray two side material to mimic the translucency effect in the lamp shade. And this is a render that we get without the, any ambient lights and without the V-ray two side material on the lamp shade. The first thing that I'm going to do is create an ambient light. Um, go to the light panel in, in, in Rhino, um, select the Omni Light bottom and place the Omni Light inside the, the shape. And one very important thing about the Omni Light is that the Omni Light should not be inside an object because the object will block the, the light. But right now I have the Omni Light inside my my lamp shade. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is increase the multiplier up to 8. Also change the uh, decay to inverse. Um, change my color to kind of one color and make the, the render. You will note in my render that I will get some weird and sharp shadows because of the omni light. But I will show you how to make those shadows blur, blurry. You see the shadows are very unrealistic and sharp. Um, in order to blur to blur the shadows, go to the light properties and increase the, the radio. In my example, I will use. 0.6. Also, because uh, to increase the radio, you will get some noise in the in the softness of the shadows. Uh, so I will increase my multiplier, my subdivision to 22 in order to uh, increase the quality of the shadow. And then, when you uh, click render, you are going to see that the shadows now are very uh, blurry and very very good. Also during the rendering, because we have just a few moments to, to this video, I want to show you how to create a V-ray two-side material in order to uh, create a realistic lamp shade. You see, right now my shadows are very good. Also, you, if you want you um, to increase the, the multiplier to something beyond um, A, you can do that to get more illumination. For me, uh, I'm gonna let the multiplier like that. Um, the material that I have in my shade right now is this one, lamp shade uh, top, and I have a bomb map. The bomb map that I have is a uh, is have a very uh, low multiplier, 0 0.05, and this is a preview for for my material. And also I have a reflection layer with a Fresnel's effect and my highlight glossiness and reflection glossiness to 0.9. This is the, the material with the bomb. Okay, uh, and my back material for my back shade, I have just plain gray material in the diffuse um, color. In order to create a two-side material to mimic translucency in the lamp shade, I'm going to right click and in the scene material, select add material and then select add B-ray two-side material. In the first previews, uh, in the first videos, um, I show you how to use a V-ray capture to side material. But in this time, we are going to use V-ray to side material to create translucency effects. In my front material, I'm going to use the the lamp shade top material. It's the one that the material uh, the shade have right now. And in my back material, I'm going to use the back material that is just a diffuse um, color in my diffuse layer. Okay, back shade. Let me rename this uh, material here. I'm going to use lamp underscore shade. Also, in order to uh, get the translucency effect, you have to force one side to be a sub material or to have the translucency effect. Um, this that is what this uh, option here does, and the color. If you um, let the black color here, you are going to see just the lamp top shade. 
if you put this the white color the color that you are going to see the material that you are going to see is the lampshade pack but if you want to create a blend between those material you should use a gray color because I want that the material that the main material uh, will be the, the top material so I use kind of black color like 50 here and then I'm going to apply the material to my shape and when you click render you are going to see uh, the translucency effect in the lamp shade and this is very cool uh, material to create um, curtain and to create lift and to create lamp uh, here you go this is my translucency effects in my in my lamp shade I'm going to, to change the the marble material because I create another one for you uh, I call it uh, yellow granite and I have a diffuse texture a granite diffuse texture texture in my my diffuse layer also I have a bomb map and I have a reflection layer to add more uh, some kind of re reflections I'm going to apply the marble or the granite material on the base also the granite uh, tiling is, is too much in order to reduce the, the tile come to repeat using the final UV mapping there we go I'm gonna make a close-up to the lamp to see the to see better the translucency effects and with this render I am finished this small video tutorial show you how to create a lamp using the two side V-ray two side material and an omni light to illuminate the lamp remember uh, you have to force one side to be a sub-material in the two-side material and using the color to create the blend between um, those material and in terms of the omni-light you should um, increase the radio of the omni-light here to uh, create some blurry or soft shadows in the omni-light